Good morning everyone, Treasure Troller here from the mask wearing militant state of Michigan where we are under the dictatorship of Governor Gretchen Whitmer and if you don't believe me just ask Kelly Stafford. So first you know Kelly's husband Matt the quarterback for the Lions wants to trade. Wish him well. I think everybody in the state or any Lions fan has nothing but uh, great things to say about him. I just hope that it all works out for everybody. But I think I know what's going to end the Biden Kamala Harris presidency. And that's going to be that old saying too much of a good thing. So before I tell you what it is that's going to end it, we're going to have to do like that, uh, is that Twitch thing where they go, put your finger, you know, some sort of, put your finger down if you agree with this or whatever. You don't have to do that, but just hang with me. First of all, is there a disbelief with the media? Or a lot of people not trusting what the media tells them. Okay? Is there a, I guess you could say, a unity, pro unity problem in the country? And is Biden and Kamala, are they the... Uh, the most popular or is the majority of Americans in agreement with what they uh, would like to accomplish and agree with some and agree with their policies and and this is the tough one this is actually the most difficult one if you believe in the COVID pandemic now I'm saying my feeling is that the Biden administration believes in the COVID pandemic. So we have this pandemic. We have uh, uh, an ununified country. We have unpopular politicians, unpopular executive orders coming down, and an untrustworthy media. And then you throw in one more element. Oh, and I'd rather say, are people unhappy about being uh, with the lockdowns, the mask wearing, businesses closed? Are people unhappy with that? So you add all this into the mix. You add all this into the mix. And then you let a bunch of illegal immigrants into the country carrying COVID. Carrying COVID. How are you going to get around this? This is going to be a disaster for Joe Biden. And if, it, if COVID costs Donald Trump his presidency, it sure as hell will cost Joe Biden his. So they come into Arizona and Texas, and all of a sudden there is an outbreak of COVID in California. And all of a sudden, those states start going under lockdown. And the Health and Human Services director and Joe Biden come out and say, oh, no, it wasn't. Uh, they were tested. They were all tested before they came in. They had their vaccinations because everybody in the country agrees with the vax with the vaccinations right everyone's just dying to take it some are dying after they've taken it which is just a side effect but nonetheless not everyone trusts the vaccine so Biden and his uh, administration are going to get up there and say oh no they're all tested and they had their vaccinations 
and the media is going to come out. You know, the media that no one trusts, or hardly anybody trusts. Yep, that's right. They're all tested. We were there. We watched it here. We filmed. Here's some footage of them all getting tested. Is any is everyone going to believe that? Is everyone going to believe when there's an outbreak in Texas or Arizona soon after the uh, people arrive into the country without borders that it wasn't that? And then all these states have to start going back into lockdown? Because you know, you absolutely know Texas is going to make it miserable. Now you watch... Uh, What's his name out there in uh, Pelosi's nephew or whatever it is, in-law, try to tell California, no, we can stay open. It's not a problem. It was a problem before, but it's not a problem now. This is going to be a shitstorm for the Democrats. So I say, let them all in. Let them all in. Because this, as soon as they start coming into the country... I think it's going to be disaster for Joe Biden and his administration. No one's going to believe that it wasn't caused by it. <clears throat> Donald Trump <coughs> apparently lost his presidency because of COVID. Oh, they'll have a rapid response in now. They'll have plenty of ventilators down there in Texas for everybody. And they'll have all the personal protection equipment people need. They'll have everything but a illness-free state which will eventually spread across the country and will be locked down again. And then in four years, everyone just won't be able to wait to stand in line and vote for Joe Biden one more time. As soon as they come across the border, I think it'll be all over for Joe Biden. And of course, you heard it here first. Just like don't eat the cheese at the fast food places. Get your sandwiches without cheese. Get your Big Mac without cheese. Your Whopper without cheese. Your breakfast sandwiches without cheese. You heard that here first. So with that, this is Treasure Troller saying aloha and good day.